Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Rock. My name is Sivansu Sukla and this is the second part of Mindology Numericals. If you have not watched my previous video yet, please do watch and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update. And if you like the video, please don't hesitate to press the like button. And if you want to make any necessary changes in my upcoming videos, please drop me a comment in comment section. So now let's start today's video. First question is taken from IITM 2015 and the question says a crystal face has the following intercepts for the crystallographic axis 1a1, 1a2, 1by2, a3 and infinite c and the miller Bravais indices for the face is. So now these inter crystal uh, you can say these axial intercepts crystal faces can be defined by their intercepts on the crystallographic axis okay and these intercepts are measured with respect to unit cell edge length and the parameter which is used to represent these intercepts is known as waist parameter or waist symbol so basically these are waist symbol 1 1 1 by 2 and infinite these are what these are waist symbol okay now what is miller indices Miller indices is nothing, it is uh, just reciprocal to waist symbol and it is used to describe the orientation of crystal faces and also the orientation of cleavages and other planar properties. Now there are two steps in, for, in, in finding the Miller index from any uh, given waist symbol or any axial uh, parameter, you can say axial intercepts. And the steps are, first one is axial intercept values should be inverted. The given axial intercept values or you can say V's parameter, these values should be inverted. And the second step is, if there is anything in fraction, the fraction should be cleared. So, in the given question, you can see the given intercepts of a crystal phase or you can say given axial intercepts of a crystal phase are what? 1, 1, 1 by 2, infinite. And this is what? This is V symbol. Now, in order to convert V symbol into Miller indices, the first step is what? First step is inversion. So, invert these numbers and you will get 1, 1, 2 and 0. By inverting 1 by 2, you will get 2 and by inverting 1 by infinity, you will get, uh, by inverting infinity, you will get 1 by infinity and that is equals to 0. So, now, since there is nothing in the fraction, only 1 is here, so no need to clear the fraction. So, this is your Miller indices, Miller Bravais indices for the given axial intercepts. So, 1, 1, 2, naught is the correct answer. Now, here are two unsolved problems. Uh, these are axial intercepts given infinite, infinite minus 3 and 1, 1 minus 4. You have to calculate Miller Bravais indices for these axial intercepts. So, do calculate, do solve these problems and let me know in the comment section that what will be the Miller indices for these axial intercepts. Next question is taken from JAM 2017 and this question is somewhat similar to the uh, previous question and the question says the V symbol of a crystal phase is 4A to B is to C and the value of H in the corresponding Miller index HKL is. So first of all what you have to do you have to calculate the Miller index for given V symbol and now then the answer will be the value of H in the given Miller index. not not the Miller index itself but the value of H in the given Miller index that you will be calculating in the question below. Now, so given view symbol in the question is what 4 to 1 and I, as I have told you in the previous question that there are two steps in order to find Miller index from view symbol and the first step is inversion. So first of all you have to invert the view symbol and after inverting 4 to 1 you will get 1 by 4, 1 by 2 and 1. Now, since here there are numbers in fractions, okay, 4, 2, 4, 2 and 1. So, what you have to do? You have to clear the fraction and in order to clear the fraction, you have to multiply this by 4, okay. And on multiplying this by 4, what you will get? You will get 1, 2 and 4. And this 1, 2 and 4 is the Miller index of a given crystal phase. So, uh, on comparing this 1 to 4 with H, K and L, the value of H will be what? The value of H will be 1. And the, if, if the question were asking about the value of K, the value of K uh, would be what? 2 and the value of L would be what? L, uh, 4. 
okay so as far as the value of h is concerned the correct answer is 1 so you have to write 1 not 1 to 4 okay you have to just write only 1 if the value of h is asking in the question now here is again a unsolved problem if crystal phase has v parameters of 1a 2b and 1 by 2c find its miller index so please do calculate please do solve this problem and let me know in the comment section that what is the miller index uh, for this v symbol and if if you are unable to solve this question that uh, please let me know that also so that i will take in the next video again a simple question of mineralogy a simple numerical question that uh, and the question is taken from jam 2019 and the question says if a crystal contains five faces eight ages the number of vertices in the crystal is so in the question faces are given ages are given and the question is asking about number of vertices or you can say number of solid angle so one rule is there in order to find uh, the number of uh, vertices there is a relation and that relation is known as Euler's rule and the rule is what f plus s is equals to e plus 2 where f is equals to number of faces s is equals to number of solid angles or you can say number of vertices and e is what e is number of faces and in question itself number of faces are given that is 5 number of ages is given that is 8 and the question is asking about number of vertices or number of solid angle so if you apply this formula f plus s is equals to e plus 2 you can easily get the number of vertices okay so clearly f means 5 number of faces 5 plus s you have to find this s and e number of faces is given 8 plus 2 so f plus 5 plus s is equals to 8 plus 2 and that will be equals to s is equals to 8 plus 2 is equals to 10 so 10 minus 5 is equals to 5 so number of solid angles will be what 5 so the correct answer of this question will be what 5 now the second last question and the question is taken from jam 2010 and the question says the chemical formula of olivine containing 60 mole percentage of forsterite and 40 mole percentage of phyllitis so there are uh, three basically three minerals not three minerals but olivine olivine is a series between forsterite and phyllite these are any members and uh, so the general formula of olivine is what mgfe whole twice siu4 there are other uh, minerals in the olivine also uh, olivine family also but uh, basically the most important are uh, these are forsterite and phyllite now chemical formula for forsterite is mg2siu4 and chemical formula for phyllite is fe2siu4 these things you should remember to solve these type of questions and as in a previous video i have told you that in order to solve these type of question you should remember the formulas of at least silicate minerals now as you know chemical formula of forsterite is mg2siu4 and chemical formula of phyllite is what fe2siu4 now you have to generate the formula of olivine which contains 60 mole percentage of forsterite and 40 mole percentage of phyllite so to generate the formula what you have to find you have to find the number of atoms or you can say amount of atoms of magnesium amount of magnesium atom and amount of iron atom so how will you calculate that so amount of magnesium atom present in olivine would be what since 60 mole percentage of forsterite is present since 60 mole percentage of forsterite is present so the amount of magnesium atom present in olivine will be what 2 into 60 by 100 now this 2 comes from here mg2 since the chemical formula for forsterite is mg2 si4 there are two atoms of magnesium present in the forsterite and 60 mole percent forsterite is present in olivine so in order to find the number of magnesium atom present in olivine you have to do what you have to multiply 2 by 60 uh, 60 percent you can say 60 by 100 so number of atoms will be what 2 into 0 0.6 this will become 0 0.6 so 2 into 0 0.6 is equals to 1.2 now again since uh, 40 mole percent of phyllite is present in olivine and two two atoms are two atoms are uh, two atoms of iron are present in phyllite so number of iron atoms number of iron atom present in olivine will be what number of iron atom present in olivine will be 2 into 40 by 100 now this becomes 0 0.4 and 2 into 0 0.4 is equals to 0 
सो नाउ नंबर ऑफ मैग्नीशियम एटम इज इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट टू नंबर ऑफ आयरन 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 एटम्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट एट सो द फॉर्मूला और यू कैन से केमिकल फॉर्मूला ऑफ ओलिविन विल बी वॉट एम जी वन पॉइंट टू एफ ई जीरो पॉइंट एट एस आई ओ फोर नाउ द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इन द गार्नेट फॉर्मूला एफ ई टू पॉइंट फाइव एम जी जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सी ए एक्स ए एल टू एस आई थ्री ओ टॉल्व सो दिस इज द गिव इन गार्नेट फॉर्मूला X represents the number of atoms of calcium. X represents what? Number of atoms of calcium. Now the question is asking about the mole percentage of glossular glossular in the garnet. Okay. Once again, without knowing the formula of glossular, you cannot solve this question. So you should know the formula of all the silicate minerals at least. So since the general formula of garnet is what? General formula of garnet is X three Y two S I three O twelve. And here in this question. X represents what? X represents Fe, Mg, and Ca. Where number of atoms of Ap is given, number of atoms of Mg is given. We have to calculate number of atoms of calcium. Okay, and clearly this is X three, and this whole represents what? X. And uh, Y two, Y two Y represents what? Al aluminium. Y represents aluminium, and Y two is equal to Al two. Okay, and Si three, Si three total, Si three total. This is same. Now, clearly, if there are three moles of X, you can say three atoms of X are present in the Garnet formula, and Fe is two point five, Mg is zero point three. Calcium uh, number of atoms of calcium is X, so you can easily calculate. You can easily say that number of uh, calcium number of atoms of calcium that is X will be what? Will be it equals to three minus two point eight that is equals to zero point two. Now, if zero point two atoms of calcium is present in the garnet, then formula of Grossler will uh, for formula of Grossler is what? Formula of Grossler is Ca three Al two Si three O twelve. And now, to find the mole percentage of Grossler Grossler in the given garnet, we have to find the number of calcium atom present in the garnet. So, as I have told you that you can easily calculate. So, it is what two point five. Plus zero point three plus x x is equals to three, and from here x is equals to zero point two. From where it came? Since in the given Garnet for Garnet formula there are three cations present: Fe two point five, Mg zero point three, CaX. These are what? These are trivalent cation, and this is your divalent cation. Now, so these these will equals to what? These will equals to three. And sum of these equals to Fe and Mg is equals to two point eight. So only zero point two is remaining. So number of atoms of calcium is equals to what? Zero point two. Okay. Now it became easy to find the mole percentage of Grossler in the given Garnet formula. As you know, the formula of Grossler is what? Formula of Grossler is Ca three Al two Si three O twelve. Now you have to find the mole percentage of Grossler in the given Garnet. Okay, and now the formula of garnet become what? Fe two point five, Mg zero point three, and Ca zero point two. Okay, so it's zero point two, and in the formula of Grossler, there are three atoms of calcium present. So you can easily calculate the mole percentage of Grossler present in the given garnet. And the formula of that will be mole percentage of Grossler in the given Garnet formula is equal to zero point three zero point two. Why? Because zero point two atoms of calcium is present in the given Garnet and divide by three. Why? Because three atoms of calcium is present in Garnet. So zero point two divide by three multiply by hundred that is equal to twenty by three and that is equal to six point six seven percent. So six six point six seven percent Grossler is present in the given formula. Now there is there are two questions for you guys that find the mole percentage of elementine and pyrope in the above question. Okay, so do solve this question. Let me know in the comment section that what is the mole percentage of elementine and pyrope in the above question. And if you are unable to solve this, please let me know that also so that I will take this question in the next video. That's all in today's video. Hope you like this video. If you like the video please click the like button please share it to your friends and all the best for your upcoming exam